I'm recording a little screen session here to show uh, these Tello Node.js command scripts that I put together over the last couple of days. I have a video screen going here in my basement. There's a Tello on the floor there next to that black rectangle. So I'm going to try to operate first with the command line version and then maybe a little bit with the uh, keyboard keystroke version. That was the first one that I did, but this one actually gets a lot uh, easier to work with. So I'm going to quit out of this. Uh, and then clear the screen. Uh, so I'm just running Node.js. And the command, the file I'm running is telecommandline.js, which is available on the GitHub page that I referenced previously. So when we start it up for the first time, you want to actually send the command command put it in the receive mode, and then we get a, a message that the Tello received that command. And I can ask for the battery level at this point, and the battery level is still 84, so that's pretty decent to keep this, you know, keep this going. So I'm gonna take off from the command line, and the video should record the Tello going up in the air, and it's pretty stable at the moment. So I can do a, a down command, for example, down 60 centimeters. And it should go down 60, and we should see the OK prompt. Then I'm going to go up 60, and then we should see the OK prompt. So that means things seem to be working pretty well. I can do counter clock, I can do clockwise rotation for 360, for example. And so now it's doing clockwise 360. And then I can do counterclockwise, say 360 as well. Oops, that's not going to work. CCW space 360. And I'll show you what happens when you put a bad command in there. It doesn't harm anything. It just gives us an error that the command wasn't recognized. So I can do like GDD. And that's an unknown command, so it's, just, it's not going to make anything really bad go happen or anything bad happen with the Tello in flight. I could even, I, let me go down once again, and there's a command history as well, so I can scroll backwards and forwards. So I'm going to go back to the command down 60 and run it now again. And then uh, even, the, even the flip commands you can do at this point, so I'm going to flip forward. Hopefully this is not going to crash my Tello. So there you go, the Tello flip forward. Uh, I can flip, you can flip it backward. And so everything seems to be work, working. So I'm going to land it now and then switch over to the keyboard mode just to show you what that's like. So let's land. And then at this point I can simply quit or control C. Both of those will work. I'm going to say quit, and that exits the command line processor. So clear the screen again. And then now I'm going to run not the uh, command line version, but the, what I'm calling console. So it's going to be node hello console, capital C, yes, capital C, dot js. And so now we get, you know, we can ask for help, which just pr prints the keys again. Uh, I can send it in command mode by typing C, and now I'm in command mode. Uh, at this point, I can ask for the battery, which is the key bound to the keystroke W. So the battery strength is, is uh, 68 now. The, time, the flight, total flight time is the Z character. So I had it up and down a couple times. So I've already consumed 237 seconds of flight time. So now I'm just going to kind of run these things through uh, a little bit. I'm going to take off um, just by typing T. Now there is no command history here. So basically I have to just type the keys. So I can do right. And I'm doing 100 centimeters to the right. That The parameter of 100 is built into the JavaScript. And then I can do 100 centimeters to the left by typing L. Um, and I can do clockwise by typing A, and that 360 degrees is bound in for the uh, amount of rotation. I can do counterclockwise uh, by hitting S, 
Now it's doing counterclockwise versus you know, with an S. Uh, and I could even do, I only have one flip command built into here. Let me go down, uh, down 60. I'm going down 60 and then I get the OK command. And now I'm going to do flip, uh, which is Q. So well, let's see, should be visible here. So it did the forward flip and I can't change which kind of flips that I'm doing. Uh, I can do backwards now if I want. And then brings it back into view. I can go right again. I can go left again. And I think that's all I'll show. Uh, go right again and then land. And land is the space bar. So I'm going to just put in the space bar and I'm going to land. And then to get out of this, I can also hit Control C or type in, um, I'll, I'll do Control C this time. So that just ends the process. So I thought that might be a good way to uh, advocate for using this no, these Node.js functions uh, if anybody's interested.